Hey, what up, YouTube? CC here today, and I, I'm cold. My little office is in the basement, and it is cold today. So we're rocking a little jacket as well. It's just stay a little bit warmer, you know. I'm getting old. Can't let the bones hurt so bad. Uh, but this Ask CC, it's, it's a different one. It's not me really showing you something. It's giving a little bit of advice on how to stop. Bo Jackson at running back, right? Now, if you guys notice, I don't use Bo Jackson. Not because he's not good, uh, just because I think he's better elsewhere. And I think anyone who's using Bo Jackson at running back is indeed doing themselves a disservice because he is better at other positions, right? Personally, that's what I think. That's what I think. So let's find us a Bo and let's look at his stats, right? Now, Bo Jackson is really good in the game. He's really good in the game. But all he can do better than Barry Sanders is truck, right? So this could essentially be, hey, how do you stop Barry Sanders? But people seem to have trouble with Bo Jackson because of his trucking, right? And the best way to handle running backs in this game, in my opinion, is you have to risk it for the biscuit, essentially, right? Now, anyone who doesn't have unfakeable, is they're going to get juked out, right? Even if you have secure tackler on cards, Bo Jackson, is just, he's just going to fall forward on them. He is. It's going to happen. He's not necessarily going to break through tackle, but he's going to fall forward for five yards, and I think that's where the problem is. Um, now, there are stats in the game more importantly, traits, which don't show up on cards. And those are all a mutt head, which it's it's a good resource to have, right? So if you look at this Bo Jackson card, he may have 93 carry, but he has brace first medium hitters as a trait, which is not a good trait to have as a running back. So if you play mutt, because there's Bo Jackson is obviously in mutt. So if you're playing against this guy, you probably have a lot of players on your defense with a big hitter trait. And that's a very, very important thing to look for. That's what I look for in a lot of my players. Um, linebacker, safety especially, that's what I really, really like to have. The reason I like to have that is I prefer to play my games with my tackling on aggressive. What that means is there's a there's a, a higher chance of when my computer tries to tackle someone that th they're going to break the tackle. But at the same point, when they do try to tackle someone, they're constantly trying to hit stick the opponent. So that's our risk versus reward. The risk is they may break a tackle, but if you guys are playing Madden, what is this Madden 18? Broken tackles are a huge thing. Huge thing. It happens all the time anyway. It just happens constantly. So, why not risk maybe another broken tackler to a game and turn your tackling on aggressive? Not strip, because strip will get you face masks, but just tackling on aggressive. And like I said, essentially what that's going to do is it's going to force all your big hitters, people with a big hitter trait, go look on my head, will start to hit stick your opponents, and you'll start to cause more fumbles. Why that matters more against Bo Jackson is his trait of brace versus medium hitters means that he is susceptible to hit sticks from people with the big hitter trait. And with any running back in the game that doesn't have brace versus all hits, it really, really helps. It really helps. So if you have someone who braces versus uh, big hits, then like your medium hitters are more likely to cause a fumble, right? Which is why the most important trait for a running back truly is brace versus all hits. Um, it's hard to find. They don't give it to a lot of people. And a lot of times the cards they give it to aren't very good anyway. Uh, but that's how I attack with Bo Jackson, right? Now, there are going to be cards on your defense that aren't going to have the big hitter trait. Someone like... Maybe Bo Jackson at a position, Calvin Johnson safety, Randy Moss. Like, those cards aren't going to have it, right? Um, so what I like to do at certain times is if I can't 
if I, if I turn aggressive tackling on and nothing, like I'm not getting the ball, right? Because maybe someone has their carrying on conservative. And I'm just, I'm just getting broken tackles, right? I'm not getting hit sticks. I will turn my tackling on conservative to ensure that I'm at least giving myself a chance to wrap them up and stop the bigger gains, right? So it's, it's, it's a whole risk versus reward. If big hitter is working for you, you got to do it. It can be extremely helpful, but you have to understand when to turn it off. Uh, if someone is juking you a lot, I think conservative tackling is better. If someone's on, like I said, if someone's on conservative ball carrier, it's it's just going to be hard. You're going to have to hit stick them yourselves, essentially. But that's really the best way. You know, like, you can have unfakeable, and I have unfakeable at my outside linebackers, right? And it works well, but unfakeable doesn't work for trucking. Secure tackler works well for trucking, but it doesn't work well for juking. So it, it it's a very difficult way to build your team. And it's not just, oh, you see Bo Jackson in the field do this. It really depends how your opponent truly, truly plays. Because in this game, every turnover is huge, in my opinion. Defense is difficult. I know people say defense is easy. I think defense is difficult if you're actually playing someone who knows what they're doing. Because there's so many ways to exploit what is happening. Whether, especially in the run game. Especially in the run game. Because people will just run the ball over and over waiting for that one juke or that one broken tackle. So what you need to do, in my opinion, is take a risk. And if you take a risk and you get that fumble, things are going to go your way. Now, like I said, you may give up a touchdown. You may give up an extra first down. If you want to be even more strategic, be more strategic with it, right? You know, use it on, on third and shorts or something like that to make sure that, hey, maybe you get this. If your opponent has a tendency to always run on first down, turn it on first down etc. It's definitely the best way to attempt to stop some of these people and because a lot of times people are still going to run the ball in 3rd and 9, 3rd and 14, 4th and 55. People love to run the ball because it's so overpowered. Now there's just great run defense in the game but there's nothing that changes the game more than honestly a fumble 6 is so disheartening because the offensive player always feels like they get cheated when there's a fumble they always feel that way but it really is just a part of the game and it's very soul crushing to like 95 percent of the people who play this game so that's what i would do i know it's not like a hey you should do this hey you should i i, I play like this it works well for me i know snap started playing this way now as well and it works it works. You force so many more fumbles. Um, it's worth giving up a couple first downs to get maybe a fumble or two because that, that that's such a bigger play. Getting a clutch first down is great, but getting a clutch fumble, a clutch turnover when you really need that stop, uh, it works out really well. And especially uh, on kickoffs and stuff like that where you do sort of if you guys watch the click off run defense, you do similar stuff when you try to click off to make sure that the computer gets a maximum hit stick. Some people are really good at user hit sticks. Uh, so if you are, obviously don't click off, but it's a good way to force empty turnovers. Uh, and it's not just a Bo Jackson thing, but because Bo does not brace for his big hitters, that's how I stop Bo. Bo has not really ever been a problem for me. Um, part of it's the way I play run defense anyway, which is pretty good. And part of it is simply allowing him to just take hit sticks. That's that's the plan. It's really It really is simple. Um, and to me, that risk is indeed worth the reward. So next time you guys play a game versus any sort of running back, really, try it out. See how it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, go back to balanced or go back to conservative tackling. It's perfectly fine. But take the chance. Be willing. We're playing, a, we're playing a video game. A simulation that doesn't work so well. And why not? 
be a little risky when you can when it's not it's not based on you having to make a tough read because a lot of a lot of people are blind right so let the computer sort of take the wheel you know carry underwood style and see what happens it's pretty simple it's simple um i think this is helpful it's not the most helpful thing but i know part of the series is to give you guys these little tiny like little 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 little, little tiny little things which can help make you uh, maybe win that extra game here or there. Um, simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, again, put all your comments down below of what you guys would like to see in the series. Whatever it is. Uh, and if it's something I know that I can actually provide value to, I will do a video. I'm out.